What is going on guys, Marshall one here as always and welcome back to gun review video. I haven't been doing gun reviews for a long time so I've decided to pick up a legendary SKS for today and go for some hardcore action on Old Samuel 2. And of course to give you some advice, it's my opinion about this weapon and so on. So I won't bother you with weapon statistics since you can check it on the right side of my screen. You may find this weapon in weapon set 6 and it's premium gun, which means you will need 1000 GP to buy it without any discounts, but as always, I'll give you nice advice to wait for a discount on this gun and if you wanna buy it, well, you will buy it, of course, and you can buy them eventually on high discount. So, this gun comes without silencer and with, that, with EOTech holographic sight. You have 30 rounds mag which is really nice and also this weapon is great choice for mid-range maps and not only for normal mode but uh, this is a killer gun on hardcore mode and you need most of the time one hit in the body but always fire two or three times just to make sure they are dead. <laughs> Anyway, it's semi-automatic, which means you can't fire without holding your... Uh, I mean, you can't fire with holding your left mouse button like crazy and spray. Which is really nice because this weapon will help you to increase your accuracy uh, and learn to aim, of course. Uh, don't forget to hold right shift button while aiming because that will increase your accuracy and slow down uh, shaking of your mouse. Weapon task is... Uh, 300 long shots and after that you get silencer and scope like you may find on Orsi Sniper. Let me tell you that at the right, uh, I mean let me tell you at the start that 300 long shots are nothing and you can complete it in a day. After you complete a weapon task you can use SKS with optic and silencer at Sniper and increase your accuracy and aiming skills on larger maps like lighthouse or construction or even you can try overpass but that map is dead believe me so yeah if you like carabine rifle but in same time you wanna have sniper then this is the weapon uh, as i can say two in one because i don't know you you may really like it so it's worth giving gp even if you can't wait for this count you will not regret believe me but my general general opinion because I'm using it for a long time time and I prefer it on all Samuel 2 hardcore site uh, I mean hardcore site yeah site map uh, I can say that this weapon for my personal use doesn't have any negative marks so I would like uh, I would like to rate it by my opinion and give you a better view of it so you can understand it. Well, let's say for accuracy, I will rate it 10 out of 10. Recoil isn't bad at all and even visual recoil is minimum. So also it deserves 10 out of 10. Damage is really deadly and well, I will give it 10 out of 10 of course. Fire rate is a little slow, but if you know how to click fast or use programmed mouse, then you will fire faster. But yeah, let's rate it like... Uh, 9 out of 10. Anyway, I think I did pretty nice here, so let's wait to finish a pro kill, then I will continue with my gun review. I can't believe I'm doing a gun review and at the same time I'm so smart, if I can say like that. I almost did a pro kill, so let's let's try because I got them here. Plenty of bullets left, guys. Just plenty of bullets. So that's a really big plus on this weapon just give me a time and I give you a pro kill I, I hope it's fair and it's correct I'm well hiding behind this object on oh, Glock can't reach that guy okay there we go you have a pro kill then so, nice, weapon review and a pro kill. So, <laughs> I think I said last time that um, fire rate is a little bit slow, but of course, if you have uh, programmed mouses, you can make it faster. So, 
9 out of 10 of course. Mobility is also not that great but this weapon isn't made for rushing and I would use it more for flanking or giving support to your team from back. So mobility is let's say 9 out of 10 because I don't know it's a little slow but yeah it's still great. Below speed is decent for weapon of this type so I will rate it 10 out of 10 and penetration is really great I will rate it 11 out of 10 but in this case yes it's a 10 and yeah for my general mark it will be of course 10 because I like it because I believe you guys could like it and I'm really interesting to hear your opinions if you have this weapon what you think about it and do you plan to buy it or after watching this video you start to like it and wanna have it so yeah share you your opinions with me because I'm always interested to hear different ob opinions about weapons that I like and weapons that you like and of course weapons that you maybe wanna buy because I don't know, maybe after watching my videos you, you really get some uh, ideas about uh, weapons that I show you because I use it, it like before, I mean, I see someone is using that weapon and I get like, oh my god, so nice, I gonna try this weapon and yeah, I start doing good, so that, that that's the same with uh, SKS because I've been really a fan of SKS for a long time. I must admit it's over it's been over a year since I started to use this weapon and I must admit I'm pretty used with that. Also I even made uh my first video on YouTube with SKS no scope so if you guys really wanna see it make sure to go back or I will try my best to to put you annotation link here on this video so you may click it and check that I mean check my first video with SKS because that was my first video on YouTube guys so <laughs> you know why I decide to, to try a uh, gun review for this weapon and I, I mean that that was my opinion about SKS I told you uh, what I'm thinking about it how it looks so yeah it's up on you now to try it and share your opinion of course with me what I said previously anyway we will continue now with uh, gameplay with SKS on hardcore because I really like old Samuel 2 and I hear someone here well yeah of course I was about to say we will wait for him to come out because I don't like to search for the enemy in those bushes and forest and that's my advice to you guys if you are playing uh, this map well if you are not experienced that much and you then have sonar up or you don't have a team with you <laughs> well simply don't go for a guys in forest because they can smart I mean they can uh, smart you or how do you call that and if you don't have I mean if you are playing a normal mode and you don't have thermal vision well don't go down there because they are camping with thermal vision and they have advantage against you so don't try it. my favorite spawn spot I mean my favorite spots on this game are around those broken houses in the hangar up on the tank and so on but really I dislike to go down in forest I mean before you were able to jump on the house let's give an aid here so oh thank you I was about to get rid of this agony with broken leg because there is nothing more that I hate on a hardcore when they shoot me in the leg and here you can see one more guy who's playing with SKS I believe he like it too so yeah you been able to jump on that house so most of the time I've been spending in the forest I've been a forest man and I must admit I really like this uh, flare optics or blinking how you call it on hardcore because what a stupid guy 
sometimes you have a stupid teammates uh, anyway yes I really like this blinking because you see a direction of uh, someone who's shooting at you and I've been dis discovering with my friends for you guys just to tell you one uh, thing about this blinking while this blinking is not working if only those guys are aiming at you well they are working uh, I mean for anyone who's around you and let's say like y you and two more guys from your team are looking in the same direction and that guy is aiming at you well it doesn't mean he aims directly at you Ooh. Oh, I thought for a second it's a triple kill. Uh, that means he is aiming at your direction and he can be aiming at any one of you free. So it's really nice. I mean, you have triple chance to shoot back. I mean, if it's behind the object, just start to spray that house and get rid of that. Um, um, camper of course so yes it's really nice they can camp anymore as before because this flare optics blinking is really discovering their position anyway at the start I should say that this will be uh, the longest gun review I mean I finished it with gun review but we are now only playing because I don't wanna end my match and I decide that maybe uh, live commentary and doing a gun review at the same time will be much interesting for you guys so yeah why not to try something else for a change but I think I could go back to uh, classic one two how many times this guy fired this it's like he had three bullets anyway I I was thinking that it will be good to back to classic gun review as I did before I mean to do more maps to edit it and not to make it like live as I'm doing now so yes that's the of course always shoot VIP on the legs then headshot him anyway I would like to hear your opinion about doing a gun review like this so what you think guys should I do it um, like this or I should go back to classic gun review as I used to do it before I mean if you didn't watch my previous gun reviews then you can go on and check it and tell me what you think is better because somehow I like doing longer videos because I don't know so many players been telling me I mean like advice Marshall do not cut your videos because people will like more to see a gun review or gameplay from the start till the end. Also many of those players been saying that if I'm doing a pro kills just continue to kill until you die then you can stop your video. So at the end I've decided if I'm doing a pro kill I will do a pro kill and I will continue to, to play till the end of this video because I believe it's more fun and that that's the third question to your guys well I mean in this video I ask you so many things and about so many opinions to tell me what you like about my videos longer shorter gun reviews of this type and of course to tell me your opinion about SKS so I believe I will see a lot of comments under this video to to improve my knowledge about what should I do and what you guys like and what you guys think so yeah in the future it will help me a lot but <laughs> I will not listen to you about SKS because my opinion about the SKS is I don't know I can describe you that even if you tell me this weapon suck I will tell you no it doesn't and I like it so yeah pretty nice 18k of experience one double headshot one pro kill anyway thanks for watching this video guys i hope you really had fun 
as always i mean i've destroyed my team look at my score and don't forget to check instant gaming in the description of this videos and you will find useful information down there anyway support me with like button and subscribe down there for more daily videos take care and bye bye